All of the results for Wales's constituencies are now in, and so it's possible to draw some conclusions about how the election has gone here. In terms of seats, Labour has done extremely well. Uh, it's gained 27 seats out of a total of 32 seats elected here in Wales. And that has included gaining a number of seats back from the Conservatives that were lost at the last election in 2019. For its part, the Conservatives have done very badly. They failed to win back any seats here in Wales, and so for the first time since 2001, Wales will be sending no Conservative MPs to the Parliament in Westminster. The other seats were then gained by Plaid Cymru, who secured four seats, and one solitary seat was gained by the Liberal Democrats. But the most interesting aspect of the election here in Wales was the percentage of votes gained by different parties. In terms of Labour, while it gained the vast majority of individual seats, we saw its percentage of the vote dropping in a number of individual seats and also its overall percentage of the vote here in Wales dropped down to 37%. And it's quite possible that this will be the first UK general election for almost a century where the Labour Party in Wales gains a lower percentage of the vote than in England. In terms of the other parties, while well, reform failed to gain any seats here in Wales, we saw strong performance by that party in terms of its percentage of the vote coming third overall and coming a strong second in almost a dozen seats. Finally then, while this election has been a very disappointing one for the SNP Nationalist Party in Scotland, it's been a very positive one for the Welsh Nationalist Party, Plaid Cymru. As mentioned, it gained two seats, bringing its total of MPs to four, but also saw its vote increasing across a number of seats in Wales, meaning that it can look forward to the next devolved election with some confidence.